The thing is with comedy is it's so subjective to people's experiences and, and the way that they're raised that you couldn't possibly ever come to any understanding about whether or not that's funny or not. But like if this like you could be in like you could be in fat people anonymous and they would find it hilarious depending on <laughs> on on depending on what what experience they've had with their weight growing up. Mm. Some people are sad about being fat, some people mm -hmm. are happy about being fat. It all it's so like it's so, it's so complicated. No one ever describes themselves as politi politically correct. Politically correct is something we put on other people as a way of silencing them. All political correctness is, is people asking to not be offended by everyday conversation or by everyday life. And I think truly politically correct, the idea of political correctness gone too far has been created as a way for people who've never been silenced and who've never been discriminated against to position themselves as the underdog and position themselves as someone who is being discriminated against. I think this topic is becoming prominent in our society because of the fact that we document everything now from uh, online media being in not in just my hands but in yours. Equally, someone could be on Twitter right now sending an email or live streaming this very conversation we're having. Mm. So the fact that this amount of eyes are on me immediately makes me think, if I say this, I, I'm, do I have to be politically correct to achieve my aim or am I going to be forever held accountable for it as long as the internet exists? I just think we really have to divide out two things. One is about justice and employment and equal opportunities and people in positions of power who voice ridiculous prejudices, whether it's against trans people, whether it's against uh, people of colour, whether it's Jews, whatever it is, that's no good. Mm. That is different. However, conversation, comedy, mm. uh, tweets, you know, people who are nobody in particular, mm. we've got to bring back good old-fashioned despising. And, <laughs> <laughs> and say, it, yeah, yes, OK, a lot of people are laughing. Well, look at them. Pillocks, really. And, I mean, if you feel offended by awful stuff mm. in, in his... I'm sure it was awful. I'm sure it wasn't Funny it either. wasn't funny and it was very But cool. that's fine. You say it. you're out there. We yeah. have an internet. Get out there. Get all yeah. the trans people. Argue back. I mean, I do this even about really deeply serious things like anti-Semitism and race. <laughs> you know, I don't immediately say you're a racist. I can't be in a room with you. You know, I say, how but that's ridiculous. You can't say that about Chinese people because this, because that, because the other. Mm. You know, you argue, you despise, you kind of, you, 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 you join in. I actually would rather people say what they think rather than hide it because then what comes out is that they behave as they think mm. but don't actually say it. So you can't read them anymore. So it's better to be explicit, this is what I think, and then I can decide how I want to handle it. Right. And if people think like me, they I expect them to say something about what they think. Um, and I prefer it to be open rather than trying to shut people It's best to stare an asshole in the face than find out. <laughs> <laughs> the issue is on um, transphobia or racism and it doesn't apply to you, of course it's so much easier to debate about it. But if it's to do with your everyday life and your very existence, why should that person have to go out there and spend their entire energy to just prove to the other person that they're allowed to exist in the way that they do? And I just think we massively miss out the aspect of privilege in this conversation. <coughs> So when you say something, it might have unintended consequences and you need to be prepared to face that. And this is where actually being able to say, you know what, I got something wrong. I'm really sorry. Like, that was my shit and I'm going to work on it. And thank you for raising this. It's really, really important because that goes a long way towards actually being able to build bridges between groups of people. And that's really what we need to do more in the world. Four years ago, a few, uh, some authors were killed in Paris because Someone, someone found what they were writing. Is this Charlie Hunter? Yeah. So there are things that are obviously offensive, but you know, anyone can can uh, be offended by anything. I truly believe you are allowed to say what you want, okay. but you can't be sensitive about if there's any repercussions. So